I knew the gay got blown you. I had to buy a tie. That's a tie? Oh, Mrs. Benson, good evening. How lovely to see you. Let me take your coat. position of one is moved. But as a generality, Leo's are far more aggressive and unpredictable, really. But I would say the same for Sagittarius. Greatest I mean, Mahler conductor. You must he's know. Mahler with the only composer of any consequence. But actually, you know, I, I think he's quite shallow in image conscious. Really doesn't know much about music. Odier's ideas of relevance ended around 1910. I told my butler that I took a bus. He was simply appalled. <laughs> and bloom after a divorce. I must say, I never thought you'd go that route, though. What route's that, Amos? Young lovers. I hate to see an attractive woman go that way. Erica, what a fabulous! You know, I love darling. Yeah, this is fabulous. I thought you were coming. Oh, I changed my mind. You've been doing a lot of that lately. I may do some more. <laughs> Oh, you brought us 10,000 miles for this. Well, hello, hello, hello. Sure. It was wild. But I'm glad to be back. even before I've had my breakfast. I don't know where she gets the energy. No, I always did admire that about Erica, even in college. <laughs> and particularly because she doesn't have to work. <laughs> just a moment. Veronica's here. Just a moment. I'm sorry to be late, Mrs. Benson. I went to a party last night also. Please, just bring the coffee, Veronica. Hurry. Get the children's breakfast ready first or they'll be late. Would you please hurry? Thank you. Yes, just a... It's 
Well, tell Eric I'll call her later and thank her again for the lovely party, would you? Thank you. Goodbye. Mary, Peter! Time to get up or you'll be late. Come on, cut the comedy. Up you go now and get dressed. Okay. All right. Well, I make it from Riverdale to Midtown Manhattan. 20 minutes. Here is your coffee, Mrs. Banson. Oh, don't put it down there, Veronica. Bring it over here. You know I can't function in the morning without my coffee. Mm -hmm. And will you see to it that the children are dressed and ready in 15 minutes? They'll be late for school. Mm -hmm. Breakfast will be ready shortly. Thank you. I'll uh, fix some eggs for the children. And uh, I'll have quick jam for you. Good. Do you want anything special for dinner? Yes, Mr. Delaney will be here. Let's have, um, let's have veal and white wine, sauce with mushrooms. He'd like that. <laughs> I like you. Come on, let's dance. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, not so fast! Oh, no! Going out for a drink or something. That's not fair. We can't be Are you all right? All right, I'll tell you what we'll arrange. We'll stay here a little while longer, and then we'll go home and have a very special dinner, right? Oh, I can't tonight, no, I'm sorry. Why not? Well, I got a meeting, that's all. What kind of a meeting? Just business. A business meeting with whom? <laughs> How about tomorrow night? Well, I hadn't planned on tomorrow night. I planned on tonight. Well, you didn't ask me. I just went ahead and climbed. Can't always go ahead and climb like that. Is he coming for dinner tonight? Tomorrow night. He doesn't skate as good as Dad. Yes, it won't be long. Did you finish your homework? It's a tight Not yet. Veronica, would you mind staying a little later tonight? I'd appreciate it. Let's not use those glasses. Let's use the crystal. They're much nicer. Oh, that must be Joel. Stop fooling with your hair like that, Mary. Hello? Oh, it's you, James. No, I was just expecting someone else. No, I can't do it Friday night. I'm going to a meeting of the uh, Legal Defense Fund and Saturday night to a benefit. Why don't you call me later in the week? Perhaps I can hold Sunday open for you. Yes, thank you very much. Goodbye. I'm starving. Do we have to wait for Joel? All right, I'll call him. Stop doing that to your hair, Terry. Joel. I think I had the wrong number. It's all right. Joel? Joel, answer me. Are you there? <laughs> Joel back in time for dessert. Go ahead. I won't be long, Veronica. Go ahead. Come on, Peter. Let's eat.
okay. Nothing happened. What is it? It's okay. Nothing happened. It's okay. We don't have that information. I'm sorry. I'm anxious about the condition of my brother. Everybody's anxious, lady. Just have a seat over there like everybody else. Look, I'm Mrs. Nora Benson. My former husband, Ted Benson, is the surgeon. No, I... you're kidding. My former husband is Joe Crenshaw, the plumber. Maybe they know each other. Now, see, here, I want information about my brother, Joe Delaney. Now, if I don't get it from you, I shall have to report you. Do you understand? You, you want to report me? Use the pay phone. Nora, I'm terribly sorry to disturb you. Is Ted there? Oh, Nora. Just a minute. Ted. Who is it? It's Nora. Another emergency. Thank you. Yes, Nora, what is it this time? I'm sorry to disturb you. Joel. Tried to attack whom? And where did they take him? Bellevue. All right, but only for a minute. We're going out. Sure, this is an emergency. We have tickets to the theater. Now, look, with Peter, it's an emergency. With Carrie, it's an emergency. With Joel, it is no emergency. I'll see what I can do. I wouldn't call you if it were an emergency. Ted. Wait here for me. I do apologize, Marta, but after all, Joel is my brother. Yes, I hope my husband can help him. He means me. He's under sedation. Apparently, there's no danger. They don't know what it is, and they won't know until we get a chance to run some tests. He's on his way to the psychiatric ward. What could have happened to him, Ted? Drugs, possibly, bad drugs. No, 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 not Joe. Impossible. Look, Marta and I are ladies. You and I have talked about Joe before. Enough is enough. Don't you have some opinion? I really don't know, no. But did he say anything about anything? They'll find out. Just let them handle it. His keys. Did they take his keys? They take all his personal effects and they return them when he's released. We've got to go. But you see, he has a cat. A stray cat he found in the rain. That's wonderful. I'll call you. Why you won't? My brother Joel Delaney lives in apartment 5A. Could I have the key to that apartment, please? You stay here. You are the man who said my brother tried to attack you. Why did you say that? He never would have done such a thing unless he was provoked. Here. 
Here, take it. Hello, Nora. What are you doing here? What's up with your finger? Oh, nothing. It's just an accident. Where's Joel? He's had some trouble. What happened? The police say he tried to attack a man. The police? Is he in jail? No, he's in Bellevue. Really? I doubt if Joel would try to attack anyone. He probably tried to kill himself. That's much more like Joel. What do you mean? Oh, Nora, you know how Joel is. No, I don't know how Joel is. But apparently you do, so would you please tell me? Sometimes he threatened, that's all. When his dark side showed, he used to call me up and I'd come over. Why don't you pull up a chair, Nora, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Joel. Thank you, I'm late for lunch now. Just give me the cat thing. My car's in the street. I'll give you a lift if you like. What is that? Oh, uh, that was done by the kid who used to hang around with Joel. He left all the stuff here. Jesus, he was weird. We what does it mean? Joel told me once, but I've forgotten. It's Puerto Rican, I know that. down and got your cat and took it home. You went all that way? <laughs> Tell me what happened. You tried to attack a man, Joel. What? Mr. Perez, Ooh. the super. The super? Mm -hmm. Why would I want to even hurt him? I don't no, know. that's ridiculous. You know me. I wouldn't hurt him. Have you been taking drugs? Nora, I'm so square. I don't even smoke grass. The only drugs I've taken are stuff they pumped into me when I got here. Well, then what's wrong with you? I don't know. Why did you attack the man? I didn't do it. Joel, don't lie to me. I know I didn't arrive in time to help you, but I saw it with my own eyes. Nora, believe me. I don't remember any of that. I don't believe you. You wouldn't know that. <laughs> Look, I'm not naive. I know there's poverty around, but one doesn't have to seek it out. I don't have to, and you don't have to either, and you know it. You only see what you want to. Who else was with you the other night? Nobody. Nobody. I was, I was getting dressed to go to your house for dinner, and then uh, I was here in bed. This world was always people. You know, you must have taken something. The doctors think you took LSD. Now, all you have to do is admit it, and you can walk right out of here. 
They'll let me go? In the care of a private psychiatrist, Erica Lorenz. You've known her since you were a little boy. All I have to do is call her and tell her that you've admitted to taking drugs, and that's the end of it. <laughs> okay. I took some acid. Call her. And you'll stay with me. Oh, it'll be like old times, Joe. We'll have such fun together. Don't we? Mm. Mr. Delaney, do come in. I'm so glad to see you. How are you? Let me help you. Oh, that's all right. I can do it. Oh, it's a pleasure, Mr. Delaney. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Just go on onto the living room and make yourself at home. I'm sure Dr. Lorenz will be with you in just a minute. Thank you, Charles. They said they'd keep me in Bellevue unless I agreed to see you. Well, I know how you feel, Joel. But you see, we do have to spend an hour a day together for a while. Oh, come on, Eric. You know there's nothing wrong with me. Look, Joel, Justin still sees a few patients. Would you feel more comfortable with him? As long as I've got to do it, it doesn't matter to me. I still don't see why we have to go through with this whole thing. Joe, you were committed because you tried to kill a man. Now, I know that you have no recall of this episode. But we're here to try and find out why. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to tell you if I can't remember anything? Why don't you bring me up to date? Now, I was always intrigued why you went back to live in the East Village when you came back from Tangier. Oh, for Christ's sake, Erica. You and Nora are really two of a kind, you know it? No, seriously. I'd like to know why. Well, it's very simple. I feel at home down there. <laughs> why? I don't know. I, mean, I never feel alone. There's always somebody to talk to. People down there are really fantastic. Like this friend of mine, Antonio Perez, the, uh, the guy that gave me his apartment. We used to spend hours just sitting around and, and talking and listening to music, you know? Puerto Rican. Yeah. What did you talk about? the only really close friend I've ever had. He stands for everything Nora hates. Why not? Well, she's very secretive about her private life. Anyway, 
She's taking a typing course, so I'll very likely lose her to some company where she'll meet a nice young Puerto Rican man who'll make her quite happy. I think there's something sexy about it. <laughs> Joel. Uh, Nora, don't be so serious. I didn't know you kept this. Oh, I've kept lots of mother's things. Well, I didn't. Do you have many lovers? Who? Me? <laughs> I have suitors. I have the best of everyone. You go to bed with them all? <laughs> Sometimes. Anyway, that's my business. How's it been for you? How is Tangier? I met a lot of women like you in Tangiers. What do you mean? Women like you who go all the way to Tangiers to get laid. And then when they come back, they haven't changed at all. You sleep with lots of people? Oh, Joel, quit it. How many? How many a night? Joel, stop. Two at a time? You ever have two at a time? Will you stop? Get up and get dressed. Dinner's almost ready. Joel, where are you? I know you're there.
hurt me. <laughs> what have I ever done to you? <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no. Norris. Norris, having a party for me. I can't wait. <laughs> Socialite out of Nantucket. Joel, not that one. <laughs> Veronica, bring the cake, please. Yeah, hey, Veronica, don't burn the cake. They'll say you're inefficient, and Mrs. Benson would never forgive me. Trust me. You're just being silly. <laughs> Jerry? Yes? Your earring is missing. Did you know that? Your earring is gone. I must have lost it, North. Wait a minute, Nora. I, Joel Delaney, will conjure up your earring. Earring, earring, show thyself to me. Earring, your light. See you. 
your presence. I wonder what he's doing. He got it. It's a magic earring. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes, yes, where does it go? To the moon. <laughs> to the moon, yes. You bastard, how can I tell the insurance company that a balloon carried my earring away? Back to the house. Come on, <laughs> get the magic crystal. Oh. No, you're not. No. Come on, don't give it to us. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. You're crazy. Oh, no. Come on, yeah. give it to me. Yeah, I can do it. Come on, come on. Come on, get it. Come on, get it for me. que me diera vino. Avanzo, te corto la cara. Otro querido. Puta tiene otro querido. ¡Cabrona! ¡Sherry! Joel, what was that all about? I didn't know you spoke Spanish. You don't speak Spanish. There's Just no a few need words. to lie to me, Joel. There's no need to lie. Why should I lie, for Christ's sake? Come on. Why? Come on. Come in and go. Monica, forgive him. He just can't take drink. What did he say to you? I didn't even realize he spoke Spanish. If you don't mind, I'd like to go home. I'll clean up in the morning. Uh, she dropped that. I'll take it to her tomorrow. Honey, I think we have to change the first floor seat. You're the one who's in the bathroom. Yeah, well, the thing is, you have to get up earlier, that's all. But no, you, you wait, wait. You fool late. around in the morning all the time. Yeah.
Jerry. My name is Brady. I'm with the police department. I'd like to speak with Mrs. Nora Benson. Are uh, you Mrs. Benson? No, sir. Please come in. She's very upset. Thank you. Mrs. Benson, I'm Detective Brady. How do you do? This is my assistant. How do you do? I'm sure you're busy, so we won't take up too much of your time. Just a few questions about Cherry Talbot. Please sit down. Thank you. Oh, don't get up, please. Sit. Now. What can I do to help you? Benson, I'd like to know what you know. I understand that Miss Talbot was here last night. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. I understand you had a little birthday party. Yes, you understand a great deal. I pick up a little here and a little there. Where is Mr. Delaney? He's out at the moment. He's not back at Bellevue, is he? No. All right, I'd sure like to see him. Mrs. Benson, do you know if he has any Puerto Rican friends? Possibly. Well, it's a funny thing that all of a sudden here we have a case just like three others we had last summer. The same thing, you know, head cut off, hair tied onto something. Those girls were all Puerto Rican girls. I suppose that's why they didn't get much space in the newspaper. But <laughs> we thought we had it figured out at the time. Some kid. Antonio, uh... Perez. Mm, Perez. But, uh, he disappeared. And those people up in Spanish Harlem, they just won't talk to us. You ever been up there, Miss Benson? I've driven through it. You ought to go up sometime to that big market they have up there. I took my wife up once. She said she got some good bargains. But she says you have to be kind of careful picking and choosing. I suppose you women know all about that, huh? Where is he, Mrs. Benson? Call him for me, will you please? Veronica, call Mr. Delaney. Do you have any children? Oh, Detective Brady, you even know their names. Delaney, my name is Brady. This is my assistant. We're detectives. Why don't you uh, come down to the station with us where we can have a talk? I don't want to bother your sister here anymore. I'm sure she has things to do. Won't take long. I'll have you back in a couple hours. That's a promise. Okay, if I can help. I didn't want her to go last night. Okay. I'll be back in a little while. Thank you, Mrs. Benson.
Hello? Karen, is Uncle Joe home yet? No. Well, let me speak to Veronica then. She's gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? Gone shopping? No, she left a note saying that she was gone and she's not coming back. Want me to read the note to you? Yes. Understand and give my love to the children. Yours truly, Veronica Savage. Mom, why would she go? Oh, dear. I don't know. Well, I'll find out. I tell you what, honey, you and Peter stay there and watch television until I come back. I won't be gone long. Now, don't worry, huh? parts per million carbon monoxide in the high traffic area. Oxygen, six hour levels. Un experto chino en asuntos americanos declaró a la llegada a Ottawa que existían posibilidades de éxito para llegar a un acuerdo. Hice como, hice como. Hice la manera mañana. Aquí están ustedes. Vete tú. Me parece que es lo que voy a hacer. Vete tú. Entonces, ¿tú qué vas a hacer? ¿Tú qué no trabajas? Sí, tú con tus drogas. ¿Puedo hablar con Veronica, por favor? ¡Veronica! ¡Mamá me jefe! ¡Te quiere! Benson, what are you doing here? Why did you quit, Veronica? Why did you leave? Well, I no longer work for you. I, I know that, but could we talk, please? Please, w won't you invite me in? No. Wait here a moment. Come with me, please. Why couldn't I go in, Veronica? Mrs. Benson, there were some things you kept me away from, and there are some things I'll keep you away from. What do you mean? It's quite simple. You used to say, Veronica, leave this alone. Veronica, leave that alone. You know, you people are not the only ones with things to keep to yourselves. Veronica, I know I can't force you to answer my questions. And I know how you hate to see people beg. But, Veronica, you're human, and you must realize that I need help. Mrs. Benson, you have your police, your hospitals, your doctors. Use them, you know them. But Veronica, it's just possible that the police can't find out anything about this. It's just possible that the people in my world can't get into your world, that no one will talk to them, you know? How will they find out about Tonio and the Perez people in the killings? But I have to find out because I don't intend to lose my brother. And you want to find out through us? Yes. But are you willing to accept and believe what you're told? Are you going to listen? I will do anything for my brother, anything. There is a botanica. A man named Don Pedro will be there. I'll write you the address. A botanica? If you can believe in Don Pedro, he can help you. If not, you're wasting your time. Will you come with me? No. I'm finished with all of this. I've given you more than I should. Now, I've understood you. You understand me. Thank you. I'm 
I'm looking for Don Pedro. Are you Don Pedro? Yes, I am Don Pedro. Veronica Savis told me you would help me. It's my brother. He's in terrible trouble. Why don't you go to the police? They will help you. No, Veronica said you would help me. Well, I don't know. I'll pay whatever you want. I'm willing to pay. <laughs> Our practices are not for sale. You can buy belief. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. People like yourself, you try to buy God, and your mind is closed. All you have open is your eyes, and they're full of concern. Your brother means much to you, huh? Everything. Uh, can you bring him to me? No, no, I couldn't do that. Come to this address tomorrow morning and bring something that belongs to him. Mrs. Benson, we know all about your Delaney, Antonio Perez. We will help. We see you tomorrow. Yes. Thank, thank you. Joel, what is it? Joel, let me in. Who's in there with you? Nobody. 
What is it? What's the matter with you? Joel. What is it? Let me in, Joel. Who is in here? Nobody's in here. Who are you speaking to? No one. Why is this window open? Aren't you cold, then? No. Where are the children? Where are the children? I don't know. They went out took the dog for a walk or something. Joe, what did the police say? Said they knew I was in Tangiers last summer, so they let me go. Listen to me. Do you still see that, Tonio Perez? Go on, get out of here, will you? when I heard about Sherry, but the phone was busy. How did Joel take it? Very badly. Very badly. It's been just terrible. Jerry, may I have a martini on the rocks, Certainly, please? Dr. Lorenz. Has Joel ever mentioned a Puerto Rican friend of his named Tonio Perez? Yes, a number of times. Tell me about him, Eric. I have to know. Joel and Tonio have been close friends for some time, Nora. The police think that perhaps Tonio Perez is the person that killed Sherry. They believe he's the killer of those girls in Central Park last year. They can't find him. They say he's disappeared. Well, Nora, look, you can't assume that Tonio is a killer just because the police find him suspicious. I mean, leave those matters to the authorities. Your martini, Dr. Lauren. I want Joel to stop seeing him. I, I want the relationship between he and Tonio to end. Nora. You know, I really think that you should make an effort to understand why the friendship between Joel and Tonio exists. Joel and Tonio have a great deal in common. Now, although Tonio came from an entirely different environment, he seems to have had a similar psychological background. You know, I don't think that you realize how deeply Joel was affected by your mother's breakdowns and her final suicide. He felt totally abandoned. Erica, after Mother killed herself, Joel was not abandoned. I did not abandon him. Every time he wanted me, I was there. Whenever he needed me, I was there. He Nora. was not abandoned. Nora, now that's not entirely true. You see, previously, he'd been dominated by your mother, and then by you. So the contrast was so severe, it produced a deep hostility in Joel. Apparently, Tonio harbors similar hostilities. I don't want to hear your theories. I just don't want to hear any of these theories. Just tell me how I can help my brother. Nora, tomorrow we'll get into this much more deeply during Joel's session. Now, please, leave these things to me. And don't do anything foolish. You promise? Promise. Mrs. Perez came to see me about her son, Antonio. I know all about your son, Mrs. Perez. Entiende. It is good that you understand, Mrs. Benson. Things are much simpler when you believe. 
believe? What do you mean? And you believe what you say, that Tonio is influencing your brother. Yes, and I would prefer that Tonio not see Joel any longer. If he does, I shall have to report your son to the police, Mrs. Perez. Then you would be reporting your brother. Mrs. Perez came to me because her son's spirit has entered your brother's body. What? <laughs> Tonio is dead. Six months ago, he died. <laughs> this is absurd. Tonio was in my house just recently. El espíritu de Tonio. Tonio's spirit. Not his spirit, in the flesh. Oh, this is ridiculous. Have you seen present. my son? Please. This is my son. Míralo. Please sit down, Mrs. Benson. Please. Please. That is too new. He died before his time. He never had a chance to be good. I was never with him. Dios mío, que mala madre fui. His, his father abandoned us. Antonio had to live with his grandma. I never see him. I work hard. His grandmother died. Antonio became bad. He became so evil. He did so many evil things. He, he tried to kill me. Those girls, did, did he kill those girls? Yes. He saw how to find out. And he killed him, su propio papa. He killed my son to take this disgrace from us. On your restless spirit, needed a home. Your brother Antonio were close, close friends. El espíritu de Antonio entered your brother's body. A restless spirit, el espíritu intranquilo. There is a common sorrow here. Mrs. Benson, will you please come over here and sit down? Aquí la señora Benson es la hermana de Joel Delaney, el hombre en el diario de hoy. Mrs. Benson, these people came to help you. Did you bring the something that belonged to your brother? Give it to me, please. Thank you. Enter one of us in this room, and I will try to draw it out.
Indonesia. Pantai Kenya. Limpiame la casilla esta antes que entrar.
Cálmala. Juan. Cálmala. Juan. Paso. Dámela. Consígueme la botella. Vamos. No, 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 no. It's okay. ¿Está bien? Toma, sóbala. Señora, Tonya don't want to come out. Ah, sí. He must bring your brother. Then we do it again. But you have to believe. I feel that you don't believe. And you have to believe. your brother, Mrs. Manson, and please believe. Believe. That's the only way out. You have to believe. That's the only way we can help you. But if you don't believe, we can do nothing to help you out. Or you saying, as I would, that a person has a fragmented ego, an identity problem, or what have you, these people say that a spirit has entered him if he's weak, vulnerable. But in the last analysis, call it insanity or possession, it adds up to the same thing. <laughs> possession, insanity, fragmented ego. Are you trying to tell me that my brother is so weak and so vulnerable that he can be invaded from the outside by a maniac who is dead? I refuse to believe it! I Nora. won't believe it! Nora, please, listen to me. Joel is not possessed. Now, that's ridiculous. 
He is extremely disturbed and he should be hospitalized immediately, but there's no time to discuss that. Now, the important thing is your safety and the safety of the children. You can't go back to the house, Nora. You must leave the city and take the children with you. I don't have any place else to go. What about the beach house? All right. What will you do to Joel? I'll arrange that Joel is taken care of. Now, please don't worry, Nora. We just have no time. Now, please go. You, well, you have to trust me. You have to trust me, Nora. Look, I'll call Ted. I'll tell him you're leaving. I'll make arrangements for a car. You won't hurt Joel. Of course not. Charles, would you call a taxi for Mrs. Benson? All right, children. Come on. Out you go. Come on, class. Carrie in the front seat. Peter in the back. Whatever insurance you have. Okay. Okay, if you'll sign on the red line and initial inside the two circles. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you, Charles. I knew I should forget something.
Who's there? Ven acá. Siéntate ahí. Come. Ven para acá. Tú siéntate allí. Siéntate allí. Y tú aquí. Coño, siéntate ahí. Ahí. guest. Don't forget that. 
Be nice, and I'm nice. Be bad, and I'm angry. Está bien. Have you ever caught fish? I caught a lot of fish when I was your age. Toma. Ahí tiene. Cuéntalo. Go ahead, cut it! Ah. Hey, estúpido! Give me that. You take it like this. Watch. Se abre así. You see? And then, huh? You open it up. You see? You wanna eat that? Huh? No. Not yet. Okay. We eat later. <laughs> no one's hungry yet. Now we play a game. Where I come from, we make our own games. No television. Lady, you see them dominoes? I want to play dominoes. You play? Get the box. Huh? Die lucky. Give me seven and you take seven. Hey, ven acá. Ven acá. Come on. <laughs> you got a pretty neck, just like your mom. Joe, please don't hurt her. Please stop. <laughs> Lady, you better believe it. Please don't do that, Joel. Please. Rich people don't beg. <laughs> You're losing that game. A smart, rich kid like you. Your mom is not treating you right. She's not giving you the right education. How come you're not giving him the right education? Can you wipe yourself? Yes. Yes. She teach you to say yes? Yes. You say yeah to me. You hear me? <laughs> you say yeah to me. Yes. Vamos a bailar. Vamos a bailar, coño. Entonces yo vengo, bailamos. Pasamos la vida. Vamos a bailar. Something about that. <laughs> bueno, mamá. Take off your clothes. Vamos, muchacho, do what I tell you. Tell him, pendeja. Go ahead, baby. It's all right, do it. We'll be all right. Come on, take him off. Quítatela. Tú tienes frío? Are you cold? I was oh. always cold. Bailen, bailen. You've never been cold in your life. Dance, dance. 
Soon or your mom is gonna get it. Put the food in the dish. Are you hungry? No. no. <laughs> we all gotta eat. But you first. Okay? Get down and eat. In your mouth! 